In this session, we are discussing a very important topic that is conditional probability. Now, what is the conditional probability? When the outcome or occurrence of the first event affects the outcome or occurrence of the second event in such a way that the probability is changed. The events are said to be dependent events. Two events will be dependent if the probability of occurrence of the first event affects the probability calculation of occurrence of the second event. If it is so, then you can say that two events are dependent. The conditional probability of an event B in relationship to an event A is the probability that event B occurs after event A has already occurred. So, the notation for the conditional probability is probability of B A such that A has occurred already. So, that means we are calculating the probability of occurrence of B after the event A has occurred. So, when the event A has occurred that will affect the calculation of the probability of event B. So, probability of event B given event A. So, when two events are dependent, the probability of both occurring can be expressed in this way. That means, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A into probability of B given A. So, in this way, we can, we can write this one. So, when two events are dependent, the probability of both occurring will become this one. So, now let us go for one better understanding through some examples and all, but at first we are considering this very example. There are there were 5 burglaries reported in 2003, 16 in 2004, 32 in 2005. If a researcher wishes to select a random 2 burglaries to further investigation, find the probability that both will be occurring on the same year that is 2004. In this case, the events are dependent and since the researcher wishes to investigate two distinct cases, hence the first case is selected and not replaced. So, now we, we are con considering this one. So, probability of C1 and C2 is equal to probability of C1 into probability of C2 for given C1. So, here we can write in this way. So, 16 by 53, why 53? Because if you go on adding this respective 5 plus 16 plus 32, we are going to get here 53. So, 16 by 53 because we are interested to select two cases, burglary cases for the year 2004. So, that is why 2004 was, was having 16, 16 number of burglaries. So, 16 by 53 into 15 by 52. So, if you go on multiply, multiplying them, we are going to get this respective value. So, this is known as this is known as the conditional probability. So, I think the previous slide is clear to us and we have implemented the same in this respective example. The probability that the second event B occurs given that the first event A has occurred can be found by dividing the probability that both event occurred by the probability that the first event has occurred. The formula can be written in this way. So, this is the respective formula whichever we are going to get finally, but let us derive this formula. So, from where we can derive because already we are having this one, this formula we are already having. So, P of A and B is equal to P of A into probability of B given A. So, we have written that one that is P of A and B is equal to P of A into P of B given A. Now, on the both side, we are just dividing this one using probability of occurrence of event A on the both side. So, now they will cancel out ultimately we are remaining with the same with the value with this particular expression which we wrote here. So, in the next problem, we shall be applying this respective formula. So, responses obtained on a survey question as below. So, male answers given yes and no total is this and female given the answers yes or no total is this. So, this number of total yes, this number of total no and this is this is the total number of response that is 100. 
find the probability that the respondent has was a male given that the respondent answered no. So, let me repeat the problem once again. Find the probability that the respondent was a male given that the respondent answered no. So, the probability is to find probability of male given the answer no in this way we are writing this one. So, that is probability of male given the answer no. So, now it can be written in this way it is already we have written that is probability of P and A by probability of A. So, we have, uh, we have written the same thing. So, probability of N and M by probability of N. So, what is probability of N and M at the same time N and M will be true in that case male and no. So, here we are getting this one as 18. So, 18 by 100 and probability of no here the sum is 60. So, 60 by 100 if you go on doing the simplification the probability does obtain is 3 by 10. So, in this way we have, we have explained with some examples that how this conditional probability can be calculated for a given problem. Thanks for watching this video.